Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Call a Lagimla, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahashai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the awkward listening, listening and learning, in sincerity and in truth and in silence. Shalom. To Brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, we'll get right into it. A couple of precepts, you know. But uh, this article that came out on Zero Hedge came out today, Thursday, 20, Thursday July 21st, 2022. The year of Yahweh Bashim Shai turning up. You see the title right here. The state of the U.S. consumer, AT&T crashes as Americans can't afford to pay their phone bills, right? And I'm not going to read the whole article. I'm going to leave the description, the the link for the the link in the description box for for, for this for this uh, news for this news read, Lord willing. But um, I'll read the first paragraph. I'll read the first paragraph. It says here, shares of AT&T fell on Thursday after CEO John Stanky said that customers are starting to put off paying their phone bills, which resulted in the wireless carrier cutting this year's forecast for free cash flow by $2 billion. Right? They're hard, they, can't, they're, 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 they can't collect money. Right? Why? Because customers don't have money. But I wanted to uh, go into some of the comments. There's one that stood out right here. It says, when Westerners think of war, right? Who are the Westerners? America. Babylon the Great, America the Great, right? When they think of war, the ones that don't follow history, right? Those, those Babylonians that don't, that don't read, right? The ones that don't follow history or live in Europe. The rationing of every item, food shortages, no fuel, Blackouts, houses bombed with no insurance due to clauses and policies. Those things are not on their ra- are not on their radar, right? Americans, man, they're smug, man. They don't know they don't know nothing about these things right here. These are things that are just coming into fruition. Fruition: the rationing of of every item, food shortages, no fuel, blackouts. These things are just coming into in, in the fruition, man. Right? America's been proud, untouched. Right, Isaiah forty-seven and one, untouched. Right, they smug suddenly in thy security. Second Ezra, uh, Salakia, Sirach five, verse seven, I believe. Right, and what are their securities? Their homes, their PhDs, their four hundred one k, their ten-year plan. Isaiah forty-seven verse one, come down and sit in the dust. Sit in the dust. What's the dust? Confusion. Right? America the Great. Confusion. O virgin daughter of Babylon, America, sit on the ground, right? Being brought low. The arrogancy and the pomp of America the Great, Babylon the Great, is being is being brought low. People can't afford their AT&T phone bills, man. And the more and more people who are used to having things go without having things, the more and more they will Tend, the more and more they will bug out. They're inclined to bug out. There is no throne, right? Your rulership, right? The, the rest of the world is looking at you like you're weak now, right? O daughter of the Chaldeans, America, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, right? You're no longer called the leader of the free world, the, the, the land of where you can go and wax rich, the benchmark of how the world should, uh, the benchmark of the world's economy, right? You're no longer called tender and delicate. You're being exposed in, in every second sentence, right? There's another one here. This one says most people still have it too good for the risk reward to make sense, right? People still don't understand what's going on. They still got it, you know, 
a lot of people still they're still eating and they're making do and they're not really but, but there's a lot of people who, who are in desperation and it and it's going to increase right here right here it says it's early nobody has missed three meals and three meals in a row yet right people <laughs> people are still eating man right this guy said this right here this guy's in agreement with what was said nobody has missed three meals in a row the desperation isn't quite there yet we will see defaulting of home and auto loans failure failure to pay the aforementioned bills and a spike in crime for those wanting to steal rather than work to pay for things then shit hit the fan so we have a little while to go right this listen let's get a scripture man see when people them get hungry Isaiah you see when people get hungry hungry what's the word you're not you when you're hungry people lose it man people lose it Isaiah 8 verse 21 and they shall pass through it hardly bestead and hungry and it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their power and look upward right let's read this in the NLT, NLT so it hit home so it hits home the NLT it really hits NLT they will go from place Salakia they will go Isaiah 8 verse 21 they will go from one place to another weary and hungry and because they are hungry they will rage and curse their king and their and their God they will look up to heaven, right? So when people are hungry, man, and this is the times that are coming, they're going to curse their rulership, curse the government, curse the police, curse the, the military, and then try and eat each other. Isaiah 9. People are made ready, man. Isaiah 9 verse 20. When people start missing three meals in a row for days upon days... Isaiah 9 verse 20, and it reads, And he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Right? That's cannibalism. Right? Cannibalism. Okay? We're watching the, we're watching the destruction of the dollar. Right? We're seeing people get more and more uh, frustrated with the way things are, frustrated with the leadership, frustrated with the government. People can't pay their phone bills, and this is just this is just this is just this is just the beginning, man. Let's read some more here. Let's read some more here. This guy said it won't truly happen for a while longer. Even the midterms will not be enough to set it alight. Set what alight? Set America alight, man. What does the scripture say? Uh, I come to send fire. Luke 12, verse 49. Red letter. Our Lord said this. Yahweh Shai. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? Right? So the Mosai, Yahweh Shemel Shai, through his son, Yahweh Shai. Is going to come and light this place up with thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles in tandem with the concentrated heat from the chariots with the world ignorant cause you foes. And when he comes to do that, the place will already be lit. Right? It won't truly happen for a while longer. Even the midterms will not be enough to set it alight. Look at what we put up with in 2020. We collectively sat around the cities burned and did nothing. People have no idea how bad it has to get before it's truly gone hot. We just read that the Mosai al is going to light this place, right? You'll know it's happening. You'll know it is happening when the police, EMS, etc. are no longer showing up to calls, right? That will be the time of Jacob's trouble, man. No EMS, no police. Beginning with the elder apostles on down, they've said, <laughs> you'll know you're in Jacob's trouble when you're in it. Jeremiah 30. Right? This is a... this is, it's, it's in the works. It's being destabilized. Jeremiah 30 verse 6. 
and it reads, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Right? Do men give birth to, work, to children? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? Right? But I see every man holding his belly. Right? As a woman in travail, as a woman in pain giving birth to a child. And all faces are turned into paleness. Right? Paleness, fear, tribulation, great affliction. Right? Jeremiah saw men's with their hands on their loins. Verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, right? That day, Jacob's trouble, all hell breaking loose. But he, who's the he? The elect, shall be saved out of it, right? And Lord willing, we're of that number, man. Because unless you have that hedge of protection, the mark of exemption, the thawab, you're through out here, man. Right? People going to bug. Bug out. Second is just 15. Take away their food. Take away their homes. Foreclose on their homes. Take away their car. Can't find fuel. Generator got stolen. Rolling blackouts. No internet service. You don't have a phone. You haven't been able to pay for it. People going to lose it, man. Second is just 15 verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? What's that? Checkpoints. That's uh, 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 all hell breaking loose in martial law. I have to set up checkpoints. You can't, you can't travel freely. Right? We're seeing on the news that people are losing their luggage. People are sleeping in airports. Can't travel. Can't fly out. Right? Right? It's going get, to get so bad out here that... Yo, wherever you are, when when it, when shit hits the fan, that's where you stay, man. You can't you can't go. But if if you're across the country, in another state, and your home is somewhere else, that's where you stay, man. Verse eighteen: For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Right, suburban America, your na your neighbors. You got the Joneses across the street. Right. Neighbors aren't going to pity one another, man. But you'll destroy their houses with the sword. The sword being uh, the uh, modern day, the modern day, the sword is a killing instrument, which is the modern day gun. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, right? They're going to take your shit. They're going to come in there with their sticks, their burners. Take your shit because of the lack of bread, food, and great tribulation. A time like no other. Jacob's trouble. Right? This thing, this thing ain't turning back. It's not. People have the false sense of hope that, you know, just a little bit, we got to tough it out a little bit, not a little bit longer. It ain't turning back. It's going to get wild, dark, gruesome, severe, grievous, perilous. Shalom.